It's regarded as one of the last pristine environments on Earth. But now microplastics found in the Arctic appear to have fallen from the sky. Scientists say these tiny particles could be airborne across vast distances, raising concerns over the potential risk to both human and animal health, as one of the co-lead scientists explains. For some um, species, for instance, like mussels, um, we know of uh, inflammation um, responses in them. Um, some worms, for example, um, suffer higher um, a lower growth rate or have um, lower reproduction rate. Um, other species um, suffer from increased uh, mortality. Um, but then there's also some species which do not seem to show any response, at least at the level that we're looking at. But nevertheless, we should really be thinking about reducing our plastic consumption because um, we do see effects. Researchers say they were shocked by the scale of pollutants found in the Northwest Passage, almost 10,000 particles per litre. Their haul included fragments of rubber tyres, varnish, paint and possibly synthetic fibres. It appears to be further evidence of humanity's ever-encroaching impact on once-unblemished landscapes. Joanna Gill, Euronews.